Sunday, San Francisco usually plays host to the Pride Parade, a raucous, colorful march up Market Street. Well, it didn't happen today, and while it might not have been quite as much fun, there was still plenty to do, as KPX 5's John Ramos reports. Market Street is quiet. The pandemic has canceled yet another Pride Parade. But there are those who are using this time to reflect on the greater meaning of Pride beyond just the party. There was no parade, but people did gather on Castro Street, back where it all began for the gay community in San Francisco. Pride this year is back to the basics of bringing people together and solidarity and knowing that we're not alone and that there's other people like us. That was important to Michael Kerner and his partner Kevin Zhao. And they say beyond the glitz and color of the parade, its most important function is as a show of support for those struggling with their identity. There's young people that don't know this exists yet. And they need that support and they need that identification that they're going to be okay. Across town, outside the Chase Center, they held a Pride speakers panel, including Olympic figure skater Adam Rippon, the first openly declared gay athlete to compete for the United States. To him, Pride is about people having the courage to be themselves. I am so grateful for all of the athletes that share their story because that kind of representation is so important. Um, it wasn't around when I was growing up, and it would have completely changed my whole world. Another speaker, lesbian rights activist Imani Rupert Gordon, reminded the audience that modern pride celebrations actually grew out of the 1969 Stonewall riots, protesting a violent police raid of a gay bar in New York City. She says there are still threats to the rights of LGBTQ people, and for her, pride is about taking action. Pride started as an uprising, and so we can't we can't forget that even though we have a beautiful a flag that we have a lot of supported elected officials, that this is a time for us to think about what's next. About um, that we still there are there's a lot out there that LGBTQ people don't have, and we deserve. There may not have been a parade in 2021, but over the years, Pride has grown to become more than just a celebration. Behind the fun party atmosphere, it is in fact a show of strength, a statement that people in the LGBTQ community are no longer silent and no longer alone. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Activists say the struggle for equal rights is now happening in various state legislatures where hundreds of bills targeting transgender youth is being proposed. And today, hundreds of people marched across San Francisco today for pride. This was the second People's March and Rally, the group starting at Polk and Washington Streets, and they made their way to the Civic Center. I think it's just really important to remember that Pride started with, you know, queer people demanding rights, demanding respect uh, here in San Francisco, and it's just really great that all of those people are out here today to, you know, celebrate who we are and who we love and how we want to, you know, live our lives. Pride Month continues at the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. The Academy launched a new exhibit called New Science. It celebrates LGBTQ plus women and gender minorities of color working in STEM. And it's already attracting visitors from near and far.